Hi, I'm Diana DeRosa, and I am with Ron Davis, who is the filmmaker for I Am We, mm -hmm. and I'm with Willow, who is really the prime mm -hmm. person in I Am We. <laughs> so, first of all, I want to start with you, Ron. Talk mm -hmm. a little bit about why you wanted to make this film. I wanted to make this film because back in, oh God, 2015, a long time ago, I saw a really bad show on dissociative identity disorder, which was formerly called uh, multiple personality disorder. And I thought that it was so poorly done and it had no sense of, of sympathy or empathy or anything for the character as a person. It was just sensationalizing and, and, and being very exploitive of her disorder and I said I want to do something that touches the humanity and the reason behind it and that's how this entire film got started. Well you mm -hmm. know Willow I I was so you know educated by this film and I oh. want to thank you for that because I never really understood any of this until I saw that film. Right. But now I want to ask you the same question. Why did you agree to do this film? Oh my. Uh, <laughs> for the same reasons. I, I I didn't even learn I had DID till many years ago, um, but all through my young adult life, I did not know I had DID. I knew that I was different. I knew that there was something wrong. But when I actually learned what all was going on, and then you learn about the stigma that's attached to it. And, you know, I just wanted people to understand what this really is and that you can have a successful life. Yes, it's a struggle. Yes, there's a lot of hard work involved but that we are people that have feelings and can have successful lives. And I just really wanted to help this community. I wanted to help the sexual abuse community, have more light um, on that. And DID, the abuse, um, we don't have enough. We don't have enough information locally, even in our small towns for, for this mental health problem. And it's, it's so prevalent. But to, when people hear the word multiple personality disorder, they immediately think we are, you know, murderers and violence, and they just really put that label there. So I wanted to do everything I could because growing up, I just kept saying to myself each day, I would pretend I just want to help people when I grow up. You know, I just want to do what I can do to help people. And that's before I really knew what was going on completely, what this was called. But I knew that I wanted to help, and I thought this film might be a way to show people that we are not murderers and violent. That we're we are crazy. Just, or crazy. <laughs> that we're just people that really just need a little help and love and compassion. And I just wanted to put some light on the topic. So, Ron, it had to be a little bit unnerving for you as well to do this film. So. Talk about that a little bit. It was, you know, I had the same preconceived notions that a lot of people did. Not necessarily that they were crazy, because my whole purpose of me doing the film was to show that they were not. But I wasn't sure how, you know, when you talk to a single, they call them singletons, people like us who have one <laughs> singular uh, personality. It is uh, unnerving when somebody switches, especially in a documentary setting when, you know, I'm pushing boundaries and I'm pushing different emotional buttons and asking about horrific, sensitive topics. Mm. Uh, so at the beginning, it was difficult. And then I worked with a trauma specialist who helped guide me through what was actually happening with the trauma patient. And, and that really helped me. It calmed me down because I was scared. And I was scared not because of them having DID. I was scared because I didn't want to hurt her. I didn't want to make anything worse, and, and that was my biggest fear. And then I learned that I couldn't. There was nothing I could say, there was nothing I could ask that would come near what had happened to her. And once I got that, I was like full force. <laughs> <laughs> yes, and that was great. Okay, so I want to ask you, you're here in Tryon, and, oh my. and I'm speaking to Willow now, Yes, right? I am Willow. So I want to know if while you have, have been here, if you've changed at all, and if so, which other? I have. Uh, last night after the party and after seeing the other film and just thinking about today, what today would bring with questions and answers and watching the film, we were a little bit anxious internally. And uh, so I, you know, I tried to talk to what we call our nation and I tried to ask people if they, you know, wanted to come out or say anything. But I had a little switch last night in our room, but my friends handled that. But we had a conversation about everything we were nervous about, and uh, Leaf came out. And he was also, uh, we had one other altar that came out last night, Cole. 
So we spoke with them. Susan and Brenda spoke with them, my best friends, and everything worked out. And we just let everyone know that the plan today, um, you know, what we we're going to do, and that's usually what it takes. It's Is just everybody on board? <laughs> Is everybody on board? With everyone this? seems to be on board, but you never know. But I usually feel it internally before anything is noticed by others, unless you're really close to me, maybe you could tell. But hopefully today will go beautifully. Yeah. And as far as the film goes, uh, how long did it actually take you to pull this all together? Because it was a different type of film and you had to kind of figure out your direction and stuff. This film is the longest film that I've ever, it's ever taken to finish a film. We started in 2015 with the development of it. We started filming in 2016 and you know we're in 2022 when it got finished and one of the issues was trying to raise money for a film it's easy to raise money for a film on dog rescue or you know disabilities what people that are overcoming disabilities but for child abuse and for mental health it can be a challenge and so it took us years to find the funds and we when we finally did we were able to finish it wow yeah so, and i'm really glad that we did it turned out um what I had hoped it would. Mm -hmm. And and Willow, I want to know a little bit about how it began with you and how you got, did you get more comfortable as it went? Was it more difficult as he was filming? Well, the f being asked to do the film, I felt so honored. It, it was a privilege and an honor and I was scared to death. I'm not going to lie, I was scared to death. But I felt this is this is my opportunity to really make a difference and I just felt I prayed about this a long time. I prayed and prayed, and I thought, this is what I'm supposed to do. I just knew it. I was supposed to be a part of this if Ron would allow me to be. And we went from there. It was scary. There were a lot of times that uh, it was rough. But I had such an incredible healing also through working on this film, and the film crew was wonderful. Um, we've healed through this. We've learned a lot of things we didn't know by, by doing this film. It's been enlightening. It's been one of the best experiences of my life. Wow. Doing this film, I feel like we grew and we really kind of know what we would like to do now, you right. know? But yes, it was a, a good experience and it was a hard one with a lot of tears, yes. but it was well worth it. Wow, yeah, and I learned so much. And I want to thank you, Ron, and I want to thank you, thank Willow, you. for chatting with thank me. You yeah, thank you for having us. <laughs> do you have any last words you'd like to say? No, I ho well, yeah, I just hope people will watch this with an mm -hmm. open mind and an open heart and, um, you know, really try to understand how, how amazing the mind can be to get you through horrifically, so true. you know, horrifically abusive times. Yeah. It's really fascinating. And it's, you know, thank God. Yes. Because as Willow's, one of her friends said, that if she didn't have DID and, and switch, oh. she'd be in an insane asylum. <laughs> That's true. Yeah. yeah. It protected yeah. us. Yeah. You know, DID really protects those that are going through horrific abuse, and thank God for that. It really protected us. And, and I want to thank you for being willing to share so deep mm. about your life. Do you have any last words you'd like to say? I just want to thank everyone for the support, and Try On has been wonderful. This is a fun place. The film festival last night was awesome. You guys have all been great here. I am just, I'm just excited and nervous, and it just all of it. I love it here. So. And thank you for thank the you. opportunity to talk with you because oh. I was curious after watching the film what would it be like. Oh, and it's thank you. Normal. ask me anything. <laughs> it's absolutely normal. Thank so you. I want to thank you again both thank you. for being thank here. You. And I'm Diana DeRose reporting for the Tryon International Film Festival.